Okay, you go whenever you're ready. <laughs> hey YouTube, this is Megan Weasel coming at you from the great Indiana wilderness and happy Saturday. Today is a terrific day because our advanced field expedient sleep systems have arrived. Okay, uh, ordinarily we call these sleeping bags, but being YouTube survival experts, you know, we got to complicate shit. And thankfully, we've had a lot of help because this is some complicated shit right here. I just took it out of the box, and this thing is more complicated than Chinese arithmetic. I got straps, I got clips, I got, I ain't for sure. But I'm going to try and open this bitch up, and I'm going to try and put it back. Let me say, first of all, okay, the greatest thing about sleeping bags these days is what we call the hippie girl sack, okay? The hippie girl sack is this thing right here, all right? Because one of your buddies is always going to be dating a hippie girl, okay? And when you start pulling these things out, she's going to explain how they're not green and they're not environmental and they're not natural. This gives you something to put over her head so that you can beat on her until she dies, okay? Because that's what people are good for in a survival situation and want to talk that kind of poop, all right? You need a sleeping bag. You can't kill a mastodon. There aren't any left, all right? If you kill a buffalo, it'll cost you at least five to eight in Pendleton. All right, consequently, you need some way to sleep. If you're going to sleep warm, at least go to Wally World and get one of the cheap ones, you know? And get two of the cheap ones, stick them one inside you. Here we go. <laughs> this thing fits in communist condition. So, just like prom night, we are going to kind of skin our prey here. Oh, and there it is. We can lay our hippie girl sack close to hand. Give me a hand here, Mandy. Yeah, it's a little scary. Isn't it? Okay. And I'm going to spread this thing out. There we are, finest kind OD green. So I feel right at home. Man, this thing even feels warm. This is probably a pretty good bag here. Don't get too comfortable there, Tex, because I gotta roll it up. Get it back in your hippie bag. bag. Try and get it back in the thing. Okay. <clears throat> Clearly, it is not difficult to deploy this thing. Oh, and it's got a little velcro belt. All right. So and zippers on the side. We got two of these, one with the right hand zipper, one with the left hand zipper, so we can in fact zip them together because body heat is your friend, okay, out of a survival situation. I do not know if the New World Order or the Illuminati are outside my door. I promise you what is out there today is about 28 degrees and horizontal snow. Consequently, uh, this is the tool, okay. If you're out in horizontal snow, the AK-47 will not help you. What the hell's wrong with your weasel? Um, He's helping. All right. Man, this is a good sleep bag. Okay, I'm going to roll this bitch up. And try and get it back in the hippie girl bag. Without the weasel in it. Which is going to be a tough trick. This is the other thing that hit the girl bag is hit for. Now, being familiar with the military field expedient sleep system, I can promise you I've done a little bit of this. Ours had those damn canvas covers which were absolutely waterproof, and you could sleep out in an ice storm. You could sleep out. I'm coming down there in a minute. But you would be frozen like a popsicle, and people would have to break you out of your stuff in the morning. Okay. <laughs> this is... You can do this without weasels, okay, but it's not very much fun. Alright, so there we 
cat. It's always been said of me that I'm a good man in a tight place. Let's see what's... Jeez, I'm impressed. <laughs> well done. I didn't think you'd be able to get it done on the first try. Good job. So ladies and gentlemen, our field expedient sleeping system with a weasel. <laughs>